Hey everyone, hope you all doing good. In this video, I'm going to give you free zoom transition pack that you can use in your videos and make your videos looks amazing. So let's get into it. These transitions are completely free. You can get the download link in the description below. Must check it out. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere. You can use any version of Adobe Premiere. These transitions are in format of preset. It means you can use it in almost every version of Adobe Premiere. So the first thing you need to do is to go to effects if this effects panel isn't appear here just go to windows and make sure this effects option is selected now go to the preset right click here and go with the import preset now select the preset file press open and it automatically appear in your adobe premiere pro so as you can see we have a couple of folders which is rgb hyper zoom rotate shake zoom zoom in and zoom out you can use these transitions in your videos and make your videos looks stunning so before proceeding further with this video i just want to take a minute and tell you guys about motion vfx motion vfx is one of the best platform for templates and plugins for final cut pro davinci resolve adobe Premiere Pro and for After Effects. Not only this, they are also providing stock elements that you can use in any software and make your videos looking great. They are providing hundreds of plugins and templates that can easily assess with a few clicks. So if you are a beginner or even pro, then Motion VFX will be great for you no matter which video editing software you are using. Motion VFX products change the game of your work and obviously save your time. They are providing quality packs including YouTube, transitions, alerts, tracking, titles, and much more. They also have a free and demo templates that you can get for free. So all around Motion VFX is a great place for templates and plugins. I really recommend you guys go ahead and check it out the Motion VFX by clicking the link in the description below. Now here is the way how you can use these transitions in your videos. All we have to do is to cut out our footage. It's actually on you how much seconds you need a transition. So in in my case 20 frame per second transition is really good for me so for that i need to cut out 10 frames on each side for that i just hold shift left arrow key twice and here is the 10 frame on left side now i need to make a cut so i just use this razor tool make a cut right here hold shift again and move back to the middle of our footage now hold shift press your right arrow key twice and here is the 10 frame on right side make a cut right here and now here we have a 20 frame 10 frame on each side right you can make it bigger or smaller it's actually on you how much duration of transition you actually need in your footage so it's actually a 10 frame on each side now let's try out this hyper zoom so here you can see we have a two different preset file so this one is for the left one and this one is for the right one and and here is the preview as you can see it's working really good so the last thing i want to mention here if you are using zoom out transition you may see a black lines in your footage after applying transition to fix this line all you have to do just go to effects control so in effects control as you can see we have some mirror effects right here as you can see we have a black vertical line at the left side so we need to change a mirror that is affected to the left side all you have to do is to change the horizontal value just increase the value as you can see our footage is just moving with our value just make sure you can increase the value and your black bars is just gone for the horizontal line we do the same thing just increase your vertical value like that and your black line is just gone and now there is no black lines in your footage so yeah that's all for today's video i hope you like this zoom pack if you like this pack give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about this pack or premiere pro after effect please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one